Okay, I'm cooking some food. I'm boiling potatoes. I have to peel the skins because I'm allergic to the skins. Boiling potatoes. I have in there potatoes, white sweet potatoes, purple sweet potatoes, and yellow sweet potatoes or yams. And I'm also steaming some asparagus and cauliflower. Now you'll note I have a lot here. This is going to last me a couple days, so I have some Tupperware ready to capture it. I cook some beans. I'm going to put the corn, uh, the peas in, handful of the peas in pretty quickly. Uh, I can steam that pretty quickly right at the end. I'm also going to throw a ton of those in. I'm making my kids some taco bowl, which is guacamole and beans and corn. And then in my bowl, I already have avocado, beans and corn. I'm going to do that. Um, red onion. I'm going to do those roasted red peppers. I get those from Costco. I'm going to do maybe four or five of these. Tomatoes. I actually like the bigger tomatoes, but this is all we have, so I'll have these. Tomatoes thrown in. Those are the baby bella mushrooms that I'm going to put in and steam. I usually steam the asparagus for eight minutes or so, and today I'm probably going to steam a little longer. I'll throw the mushrooms in in about three or four minutes. This is what I made my kids, which is just black beans, corn, and guacamole. And sometimes we throw some rice in there. Um, I tend not to eat much rice, but um, if you are going to do it in there, either brown rice or even better, wild rice. I mean, some people, you'll hear guys like Rich Roll say all the time, he'll just sit down with avocado and rice and beans and corn. Okay, Love three minutes left on the sweet potatoes, which I cooked for 20 minutes, potatoes. And you'll see I added in the peas and the mushrooms. I'm going to start with the new red onion. Tasty. There are the onions cut up, onions thrown in. Okay, the potatoes are done. Okay, next I just strain out the water. And I find it's key for the potatoes and sweet potatoes to get all the water out. Otherwise, it doesn't taste very good. So it takes me a bit. And I just take a handful of the potatoes and pour them in. Save the rest for later. One thing I did just do is I, uh, I took some of the white sweet potatoes out, the potatoes out, and I tried to balance it with more color. So then I saved the rest for later. And then I saved the rest for later. I have a bunch of other stuff I save and I can just make it into a Tupperware and eat it. And I often just eat it cold. And the bag to the left there is a bag of composted food compost. Okay, now I'm steaming, uh, draining the steamed water. Sometimes I might even save that and drink it, but it's so hot that usually I don't. Okay. You can see it right in there. Good stuff. Okay, everything else are on top. Now this is a huge bowl. And I've told you many times that I probably consume 800 to 1,000 more calories now than I did before I went on a plant-based diet. I probably won't finish all that. And I'll actually probably just take some out now and have some tonight for dinner. So I basically made two meals. Okay, here. so I distributed into a second Tupperware, which I will eat later today or tomorrow. Uh, if you put avocado in these things, you got to eat them within a day or two, I find. You can't have them go more than the second day. So I'll probably have that for dinner tonight. And then I'll just throw salt and everything in there. And um, I don't even need any dressing or anything. I like it all mixed together. Plus I have the extra potatoes, sweet potatoes there that I'll uh, let cool down before I put in the fridge. And then I'll eat those over the next you know, a few days. My kids will eat them. We'll have them with uh, same type of bowl or sometimes we love them with hummus. It's so good, good stuff. Now I know I have stuff in the fridge and uh, I don't have to really fret over having to make my food and it took me about 30 minutes to make all this food. This is a spreadsheet I've been keeping for years. I first created about five years ago when I was trying to figure out if I was getting enough protein by eating a plant-based diet. And you'll see everything that uh, I had there is listed sweet potatoes, asparagus, red onions, avocado, tomatoes, mushrooms, cauliflower, black beans, roasted red peppers, corn, and peas. And you can see all that. And one of the things I did with this spreadsheet is I tried to do all the macro and micronutrients. So if you take a look, I mean, this is huge. And it took me six months just to compile this. You know, a little here, a little there. I want to make sure I was getting all the macro and micronutrients that I needed. Um, what's interesting here is if we plug in, you know, into this spreadsheet and take a look, let's focus on protein for a second here. So if we go down the list, you'll see in the sweet potatoes and potatoes I had, you'll see you know, 6.735 grams of protein. And then if we look down this list, you're going to see a little on asparagus. You're going to see, you know, a little on the red onions. Avocado has four grams of protein. You see some of the tomatoes. Um, you'll see some in the mushrooms. 
I didn't put in for cauliflower. It's maybe one for cauliflower for the amount I had. You see seven for black beans, great for protein. That's why I encourage people to eat beans all the time. A little less than one for the roasted red peppers. Corn had one and a half, and peas have a lot of protein. So when you take a look and you add all this up here, of how many grams of protein did I get in this meal alone, it's 28, almost 29 grams of protein. If we throw in the cauliflower, I'm probably gonna reach 30 grams of protein just in the dinner.